some information from NPR. We're going to take a look at it. You bring yours. I bring okay. mine. That kind okay. Of things that I always think about with Mr. Rogers, and one was when he testified in front of Congress about public broadcasting. It was because of what he did. We have the funding or had the funding we did for public broadcasting in this country. And the second thing is, is children dealing with grief when something bad happens in their life and how concerned he was, how well that would, would play, you know, how well that would work with children. So I always remember that. Yeah, I, I think uh, for the most part, uh, it, it, it's an amazing thing. And I, I and we're going to get into more and more um, NPR uh, news and ideas and concepts and articles that okay. come up. So okay. we, we'll start that next week full blown. You but bet. I did want to kind of put this okay. in to kind of jump start. I like that. I wanted that, to that see was what, nice. what it yeah, was all yeah, like. That was nice. All right, so let's take a look at some of the local news. Now, you say you read the newspaper. I read it this uh, morning. Uh, the the, the, the actual paper, not the digital the, no, version. No, I, I, I only have to read the darn digital one on Saturdays because they refuse to print the paper one on. Okay, you know, well, don't you have can, that hard you, copy. You, you're going to have to take that up with the ledger I inquirer did. here. I bet. I bet <laughs> you you can count on that. All right. <laughs> well, here's something out of the paper, and this was uh, really yes. interesting. Very quickly here, this uh, last of the World War II legendary flying tigers dies in columbus he was 99 years old and what a wonderful uh, way to celebrate a man's I, life I, in this i, I, I saw I that just, article i thought that was great yeah absolutely lovely and i also wanted to share a website here now let's talk about you know so we've got npr we've got the local news and uh, we'll start next week full blown with this but right then, right there's a category we i called what about people? Well, I did a little. I like this one. I did a little search. It goes with your eighty-five percent or average or below, and uh, in the world. So I looked up this guy. Went through some things about kind of people, and he's got a very interesting idea. So let me spend just a yeah. Just what, a minute. What, are, what are these twelve stupid things? Well, we we talk about people can do stupid things occasionally, yeah. but this is Mark Manson, okay. and uh, and and if you would just allow me a little bit here. Here's the guy before we get into it. Who should you take seriously? So here's this this author and thinker and life enthusiast, Mark Manson, and we may come back to him again, but okay. he uh, he has put together some a real interesting idea. And here's an article called "12 Stupid Things People Care About Way Too Much." I like that. All right, so uh, let's scroll down. You know we'll, that could we'll almost. Be your list, Mike. You could come in every week with twelve stupid things. Yeah, you know, you know I, I, like I may be able to do that yeah. real quick. I know you can. So, just real quick, and we won't spend much time. We need probably need to spend more time on this one for sure. But whose fault is it? Oh, and man. does it really matter oh, in the bigger scheme oh, of man. things? I'm fighting you about this and that, and what does it mean? We always got to blame somebody, huh? Well, here's another one: celebrity and sports gossip. Do we really care what the Kim Kardashian thinks about something? We about must. something? We must. We give it that much attention. Evidently, <laughs> we guess. do. Sexual jealousy, being right, national politics, trying to impress other people. Hmm. Hey, don't you think I'm uh, I'm really smart over here, Jeff? I'm, I'm trying to do something that's sort of intellectual. Well, that's why you're always putting things out on social media. And, oh, you know, goodness trying to gracious. impress me. <laughs> All right. I'm being offended. You know, you're, I, I just offended you now. So, yeah, yeah, you, you yeah, just that's, that's, you just did, yeah, and I, I, I can't believe it. Leave. Be probably an act of violence to follow. Well, wait, <laughs> hold it, hold it. <laughs> let's don't let's don't go too far with it. But I'm the, just the, saying that's the from the article. Fake, the, being offended, the sort of the fake version of yes. that. I'm offended yes. that somebody said something about someone else, and now I've got to put my two cents in there. Or, or that you were open and honest. Waiting in line for 36 hours to buy some new product the day it's released. I know you've done this a no, lot. I, I've never done that for a product in my entire life. I've done it for Jimmy Buffett tickets. Okay, okay you right, know I, right. I've done it, but it wasn't a product. It was Jimmy Buffett. Come on, we gotta, you know. Number 12, hiding my flaws. Yeah, people fall in love with each other's rough edges. So what he's saying here is being authentic, basically. Wow. And uh, wow. oh, you're trying to put on a front, as my son used to say back in the day. Sure. This vulnerability, who who you are, and he he quotes this of uh, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson of all, of all guy, people, right? A guy that we're always looking towards. Just because you're philosophy. famous doesn't mean you're successful. 
Okay, and mm-hmm. so the, generally speaking, the idea of being famous is something. Get the other words he has there, though. What you could replace it with? Just because you're popular doesn't mean you're successful. Right. Or just because you're intelligent doesn't mean you're successful. And those all fit. I think that was a good one. I, I like it. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, gl- I'm glad. So uh, we we may come back to Mark Manson again uh, uh, in the days to come and see what his ideas are. But I just wanted to start this whole se- the, in this se- episode with a, a a new format that we'll I, be looking at I like uh, next time. And yeah. we're we're still going to allow you, uh, Jeff, to rant anytime, <laughs> anytime you want to. And I like the lighter say. note at the end, Mike. It's it's a good way to end. You know. All right. I tried to do that with marijuana, but you know. Okay, yeah. I I was wondering where you were going with that. We'll take a we'll take a look at that. But listen, anytime I get to talk with you, my friend, it's a good day. And so I appreciate you being here in the studio. Thank you. And nobody does talk like Jeff. (laughs) 